Okay, hey folks, Mike Spooky here. I told you I, I, it's just me uh, here. I've got the dog. Bailey, say hi. Yeah. Oh, it's a good doggo. Yeah, that's a good doggo. Okay, and so we're gonna give, you know, a, a check out to, to things. So, um, as we head on out, so old Blue's doing okay. It's a very, very windy day I'm out here, but we do have a little bit of um, blooming going on. Notice that when I walked in, check it out. Yes, look at these guys, yes. That's what all of this is, some beautiful, we're gonna have some flowers going pretty soon, pretty soon. Chickens are doing great. Oh, that, that sound was the shed door back there. Uh, probably, those rabbits are probably getting kind of scared. Let's go back there and check them out. Well, let's see here. Hi, chickens, how are we doing? Oop, let's see if I can focus. Nope. These guys are doing well. I got their feed um, here and then their water as well. So I was using um, this guy right here, but um, anyway, it's leaking. We uh, There's a long story on that one. So, but it's not working out as well as we thought it would. Um, and then, of course, for our chickens out here, we've got our um, different bird feeders. Yeah, don't eat that, Bailey. She's trying to eat that big old turd. Hey, don't eat the turds. No, don't eat that. Those are probably turds from, uh, um, I can't think of our rooster's name right now. From our rooster. All right, wait, check on Mama. Hey, Mama. Hey there. So, she's laying on a couple of eggs. And then, nobody laid eggs. Nope. And there are none back there. Okay, well, I guess nobody wanted to lay eggs today. So, uh, all right, so that's that. Bailey's doing her thing. I'm going to take her dump. So, cattos are doing good. So, we have three cats. Um, our mice population has dropped down, so that's very helpful. They're all really um, active in finding mice. They really like to play with them. Maple here, um, she likes to. Okay, let's try that. Okay, hey guys, Mike Spooky here. It's the, uh, it's just me. Like I said, on the homestead. Just went out, checked out the old chickens. They're doing great. Mama in the coop, she's doing great. Still got five eggs. Um, hey, Maple, Maple the cat. Reducing our mouse population. Yeah, you're such a good kitty cat. Yes, you are. Yeah. And now it's uh, it's gonna be time to rock out some stuff. We're still cleaning up, you know. We've got our, our miter saw and and things like that that we're cleaning up uh, out of here, but we're getting there. Um, then the rest of all our home. I don't know. If, uh, it's kind of weird where people show their houses, I guess. But I already opened up this. This is this sunroom was quite warm, but so our chicks were all kind of eh, laid out. They weren't too happy, but now they're full of life again. The temperatures cooled down. Ducks are uh, looking not like they're fanning themselves so much. Um, so that's good. They've got plenty of water. Both have water. So what we did with these guys, um, so in here, we took their feed, added some water. It got a little bit hard. So now they peck, 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 peck. That's what's in this little bowl too. Um, keeps them active, entertained, etc. Keeps them moving around. so They don't crowd up and, and you know pick on each other. So that's a, a, a good thing. So that's the immediate need, you know, to check on everything from the farm. I'm going to go check on the rabbits uh, after I shower up. So after my workout today, got to get that done. So told you I'd show you a little bit about the homestead, things that I do when I get home real quick. It's that simple of just, hey, is there water? Is there food? All right, cool. Then we're good to go. We press forward. The, uh, the other chickens are just kind of roaming around right now. So we're just gonna let them continue to do that. I'll check on them later on. I saw them and there's Mr. Hobbs. So, oh, hey, Mr. Hobbs. So he's, he's actually a great kitty. I wanna go pet him. You can meet Mr. Hobbs. Hey, Mr. Hobbs. Hey, hi there. You're buds. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, hey, doggo. Oh, hey, baby. Yeah, hey, doggo. Yeah, yeah. All right shower time okay so real quick down and dirty that's the homestead uh for two april have a good one bye
All right, good morning. It's the, uh, was it this, the 4th, 3rd, 3rd of April, 2021. There's Eddie the Rooster going off. And uh, just sitting here, betting the old kitty cat. And uh, I am by myself. As you see, this is part of our remodel that we have going on. We put these LVLs in, uh, into our house. We still have to finish up these pillars. I'm gonna take the drywall off now, and we're gonna put up I think we uh, like a shiplap kind of thing, but that's not what we're doing today. Last night, worked on a chicken tractor. Um, we'll go show you that right now. Um, as we have to go check on the old rabbits. Yes, yes, I know Bailey, my the old dog is. Uh, she doesn't do too well with crossing boundaries. Um, it's really weird. It's kind of frustrating at times. Um, I'm used to very, uh, you know, brave dogs, if you will. Dogs that'll, you know, charge after other dogs if uh, there's a problem or people or whatever it may be. So, um, this is our uh, part of the remodel we're doing, the shiplap we got up. We still have these ceilings to do uh, here, but we're working on it. Um, and the counters have to all get replaced. So, but we're slowly getting there. Grabbing some water, pardon me, kitties. Okay. Three cats, kind of a pain in the rear, but that's all right. Um, so, uh, ah, one uh, Eddie just saying good morning. Yep, hello. Yeah. Our chicken tractor, well, the smaller one, or the one that has the chicks in it right now, I should say. Those are the teenagers. So, the chicken tractor I was building last night, uh, we're still going to have to put the uh, chicken wire around it and finish up some, tidy up some things. So that's what we've got with that one. You know how hard they're tiring this gets when you're holding your hand like this? Gee golly. I guess that's part of this whole thing. My compost pile is, is, is terrible. Okay, we are building it up. Um, but nonetheless, we're, uh, we're working on it. So building a homestead from scratch, as many others have done, you learn kind of the what can you get away with. Hey guys, um, what do you need to do? Yeah, hi. And then um, how to adjust and overcome from those things. So, uh, you guys mind. there we go. So. What we're gonna be doing is this is the uh, the rabbit room, if you will. Yeah, there's you. There's Zena, Zena the warrior princess. You have eaten all your food. <coughs> Water's okay. You need Mama needs some more water for certain, and yeah, she's gonna need more food. So I'm gonna get that done. Um, I don't have a place to set this. Um, I guess I will just one hand this sucker. You probably need more food too, don't you? I think all of you do. Well, Oh, the food's not dropping. That's the problem. You got this like metal container thing. Yeah, food's not dropping through. Oh, I just noticed. Oh, okay. So she's. Hmm. We're we're trying something new with these rabbits. So they've got them to where they can. They've got a, a platform they can sit on, and then this area is so if they if they pee and poop, it drops down into this box. But. I don't know, it's not working out so well. Um, we don't, uh, we as a family don't really like it. We're trying to figure out what the best option is, but let me stop recording for a moment and uh, get these rabbits fed. Okay, rabbits got their feed. Um, they're refilled. They're now eating. Okay, they got their water. And so with this guy, this is Atlas. Hey buddy. Yeah. So. They are now uh, eating. They've got the full plate going on. And I'm gonna finish up the chicken tractor so that way the rabbits can have their tractor back and whatnot. I'm gonna probably just rebuild the whole thing because it's, it's pretty heavy. Um, right behind me, uh, that's the, I, I'm, I'm hoping, I shouldn't say hope, planning on getting parts today um, after the chicken tractor. Clear that out. Get parts today to start leveling uh, and, and get the foundation going for the uh, goodness gracious camp thing 
for the next barn that I'm building or for the only barn that I'm building. Um, yeah, that's one of those things that, you know, you, we had, had a building. I didn't like it too much. Uh, it was kind of rotted out. So we are adjusting that. Open this guy up. So nothing fancy, um, nothing special. But this, hey there, bass. Yeah, this is exciting, huh? All right, so this is the start or the halfway portion for the, uh, the chicken tractor. Um, for those curious, you know, it, it's uh, all the wood that I've been using is scrap uh, from our house. So when, as we've been rebuilding, um, I save all the wood uh, that that's usable again for other projects. And again, it's just, it's trying to save costs and not, you know, everything doesn't have to be shiny, brand new, et cetera, because like, it's not really environmentally friendly to do it that way. Um, so, and being a, uh, a small hippie, um, I'm gonna do the right things. So let's do some watering for the old, uh, what's it called? Oh, goodness gracious, I can't even think while I do this. No script, you know, it's just a, a morning chore that I'm rocking out because family's not here to, uh, to assist. The kids are usually the ones that are doing this um, while I'm getting other chores done, etc. So, or other things. I make breakfast. That's one thing I love to do. What is that mosquito? Oh, man. Mosquitoes are out, so... Supposed to hit 80, no, 79 today. So might as well call it 80. Beautiful weather we're having, in my opinion. All right. Let's see, do I have enough hose? Probably not. I'm just gonna pull the whole thing out then. So Mama Chick. So how this works is Mama Chick is down here. Hi Mama Chick. Yeah. Okay. And the uh water needs to get replaced so a little bucket here we're just gonna take dump out that crap and then open that up actually i'm just gonna dump the whole thing yeah Yay. okay now we'll refill the rest of it blast off some of this that way it gets cleaned up got some clean water for the old chickens that's lasted quite a while so the uh the water this tank here so uh, i'll give some credit to uh the size and the amount of chickens we've got we're gonna have to uh expand it out as we expand our flock um we've got that other one that's that red one i just not don't like it too much but we've got one of those feeder drip feeders too or drip waterers where the chickens can just lift up put their nose to it or their beaks to it and get the water out so um, we'll be using that as well it's a three gallon this one's supposed to be this is a five gallon so as the heat kicks up you've got to make sure that they've got plenty of water these assist you know through the how do i put it we don't have to keep on it every single day we just make sure you know monitor the water this was looking a little uh a little gross um, so clearing it out, adding fresh water in it. And then they also drink this, you know, out here. We refill. This is nice for the deer uh, as well. So we'll get the, get a couple of these going. They prefer to have these. Go ahead and not have so much. Spraying all over the place. There we go. But, and then uh, of course our plants. So... They're getting their bit of water today. We, uh, one system we're gonna be building up is our um, water catchment system. So we've gotta get that going. 